Hi, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will show you how you can do a flying type of video in CapCut very easily. Let's take a look at the example. So this is one example. Okay, let's look at it one more time. So this is the object here and it was spinning and then coming to here and catch it. So I was using a coke. I'm using a coke to demonstrate it. You can use any object actually and this is done easily. Another example that we can take a look is this. This is even more simpler using money as if it dropped from the sky. So let's start. So what do we need? First, because I'm doing the coke. So this is actually what I've done. I'm using a coke as a example. So definitely I need a picture of a coke. So I take a picture of this coke and of course I do have the coke actually. In fact, if you want to make it more realistic, you can take not just the front part, but the side, the back, and then during the cap cut editing, we can rotate it. But for now, I just need the coke picture. And then we have to remove away the background, although you can do it in CapCut. I prefer to use a website called Remove Background. So let's go to this website called Remove Background. So it is actually remove.bg. Okay, and then we can just upload our picture that we want to remove the background and let's it do its magic and then we have this transparent one so before that I'm having this with all the background and this is no good so we want a transparent one and then we can just download it so once we download, we have the transparent coke. So this is the transparent coke. So there's no other thing. And then the next one is we need to record a video. And this is the video that I recorded myself. So a very simple video. I'm imagining that I'm pointing it to the ceiling and then holding it let's go back again and see so i imagine that i'm pointing it to something and then i'm pretending it to be holding something and during this part i just move my hand away because i need to take the actual coke so when i come back here i take the actual coke give it a shake a little bit and this is my recorded video and if you can see the length of it the recorded video is just 18 seconds so i have an 18 second video that this is done so let us open up the cap card and i will do a new project so when i start a new project so the Two things that we are going to add in is the transparent coke. And actually we need the video as well. Was it this video? Let me confirm. Yes, this is the video. So I will just add in these two. So drag the video to the timeline. And then we are going to mute the video. Let's mute the video. 
and from here I'll scratch it a little bit let's edit the video first before we add in the coke and do the animation so let me play it okay the hand start here so anything before the hand movement okay in fact if you want the video a little bit longer then you can just cut away here I'm going to do a split and then I'm going to cut away the front part and let's play it again from the beginning so this is pointing to somewhere as if there is a coke and then before the hand move away okay so just before the hand move away I'm going to cut it here because the coke will land here and then let's play again okay so the hand come back with the actual coke so just before it come back somewhere around here I'm going to cut away split and then delete the front part and then we play it so give it a little bit of shake and just before the hand move away so the video is almost done at this point let's do a split and delete away the back so right now we have about a 10 second video let's play it from the start so the hand coming in pointing to the ceiling and pretending to be holding it and then actually holding the coat and give it a shake So now let me import this coke into the time frame and if you put it here and then let's compare it okay you see the color of the coke and the color of this this one is more red so do your best and see what you can do to the picture to make it align with the this red color so we can go to this adjustment over here and then for the color let's try our best because it will never be perfect and then we see if we can get it somewhere close to the actual coke So just try your best and then adjust whatever you can. If you are satisfied with it, then we can start the project. Okay, there's two coke here. So we are going to end this video. Sorry, I, we are going to end the image just before the hand appear to be holding on the, to the coke. So here, let me see. Okay, somewhere here. And then we have this part here. Okay, so we are almost done. So we are going to resize it first. Okay, initially this video was supposed to be pointing to a sky because I couldn't get a proper view. So I do it on a ceiling. If I was pointing it to the sky, then I'll make the coke bigger. From big to small instead of small to big as in the actual video. But anyway let's try so we are going to put it by right you should put somewhere where your finger is pointing it'll be better but because there's a limited space over here so i just put it here maybe just play a little bit okay it's not pointing so actually you should reference to somewhere here so if you want you can reference it because this is a finger where it is pointing to and then we are going to add a keyframe so to add the keyframe we are going to click on the image and then go to the basic here and then there's a keyframe here we're going to add this keyframe and then we will see that here there's a keyframe so what do you want to do with the keyframe and then we can just 
click on the animation over here and let's just choose rotate if there is a rotate because we have to search for it this kind of rotating is no good I wanted the actual rotate let me just find it. so the rotate is actually here and then you can use other kind of effect as well, other kind of animation. But let me just use this and we can see that it rotate. And then after that, we are going back, back to the video and then click on another keyframe and then move it down. And we are just spin it a little bit and then do as many keyframe as you want. And then move it down. Rotate a little bit, make the size a little bit bigger. And as we go along, then add another keyframe and then move it down again, somewhere close to your hand. And then rotate again and let's add another keyframe and then rotate again somewhere down because the hand still haven't come out so we need to let the hand come coming out now the hand is starting to come out so add another keyframe and move somewhere closer and if you have another picture of the side or the back then you can just switch it the same way of course at the final stage you wanted it to come back to the front front side so right now we add another keyframe and then rotate it again this time around make it slightly bigger and then as we go along so we are going to rotate again this time we want the actual front view at this keyframe as well and then we should actually position it quite nice coming to this okay and then let's try let me mute the soundtrack and then we just take a look no I should start from the beginning okay so we have it This should be somewhere around here to start with. Let's try again. And we can see from here, from here to actually holding the coke. This part here, let me do a split on the video. Let's do a sp split. This portion here, just before it start holding the actual code let me sp speed up the video so we click on this portion here this is just a one or two second and then we are go to video and we go to the speed we want to speed up this one that depend if you want to speed up two times or what okay let's see the actual effect okay there's a little bit of we can see a double here so this is not what we want so let me see okay so we can adjust this to a little bit else okay let's play again at this part here and then can you see if you don't adjust the speed then it seems like your hand is just waiting for something to happen so when we adjust it we can see that the coke is spinning and then it drop to your hand and then for the other effect just before holding on, on to this coke we wanted it to have a shake effect so let's click on this video clip here and then we click on animation 
and then we can just do a search for shake or anything. I think I'm using a swing. Swing. Let's try this, and then we see. Okay, this is a shake. We let's let's preview it, and then we see. Okay, that look not bad. So let's play the video from start to finish and we take a look. Okay, the shake is not bad. So that's how you do it. And then we'll add all the sound effect. So once you add in the sound effect, you have the flying video. And that will look something like what I have done. So this is what you have when you have completed it. Oh, let me see, this should be the one with the sound effect. No, this is the actual footage. Let me see. So that's how easy you can do it. Give it a try. And you'll do some pretty amazing thing with CapCut. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video.